Hello! The goal of this video is to show you the custom Tinkerswim Supply and Demand Indicator. Supply and Demand is the force that drive price action in the market. What we want to see is where the strong imbalance is in the market. Based on the lectures that I've watched and read and based on inputs from professional traders, it is where banks and big institutions buy and sell. This is why the price moves fast on these levels. This video is not intended to teach you about the supply and demand concept, but rather to teach you how to use this think or assume supply and demand indicator. Disclaimer, I am not a professional financial advisor. All information here are, and the indicator software are for informational, entertainment, or educational purposes only and should not be construed as a personal investment advice. Now on to the demand and supply Tinkerswim indicator. Once you purchase, you will get a file from me. You will get the indicator. Save that on your drive. Here we have the E-mini S&P 500 index futures. To import the indicator, we go to studies, edit studies, click import and go to the directory where you save the file. Click on the file, click open. Now that's it, that it is imported, we can add it to our chart. To add it to our chart, we type the name of the indicator, supply demand indicator. Over here, double click on this. And now you will see it added here. Click OK. As of the time of publish of this video, I have the indicator set to 12 supply and demand zones by default. This lets the user have the ability to see a dozen supply and demand zones. You can turn some of the zones off based on your preference. So this allows you to have to just have the flexibility to see all these different zones, but it's up to you, the user, to configure this. Now, let's say you want to turn off some of the zones. Let me walk you through how to do that. So click Studies, Edit Studies, Click this gear icon. Now let me show you all these different settings. Show label here is this um, green and red labels here that says demand and supply. This is based off of D1 and S1 or demand 1 and supply 1. So those are the colors. Um, you can turn this off if you like by clicking no. Let's keep it on. For our example. Now bubbles are this S1, S2 up to S12, D1 up to D12. So D stands for demand, S stands for supply. So let's say we want to turn it off. Click here. No. Click OK. Click OK. So now you'll see that all those bubbles are off. Now let's turn them back on so it's easier for us to see. Click this, click yes, click OK, click apply. Now you'll see they're turned back on. As I mentioned earlier, we have 12 supply and demand zones by default. D1, right here, and S1 are turned on all the time. They're always on. They are the most fresh level. Uh, for our example, let's leave S1 and S2 on, D1 and S2 on. Let's turn off demand and supply zones 3 up to 12. To do that, go back here, studies, edit studies, click the gear icon, and we said we want to turn off demand 3 up to demand 12. So click no and here. No. no on demand 6 up to demand 12. Okay. 
Now, uh, for the supply zones, we want to leave um, supply supply two on. So let's turn up supply uh, three to twelve. Like I said, uh, you won't see demand one and supply one here. They're always gonna be on. So only two to twelve are shown so we want to turn off supply 3 up to 12 let's go here click no and then click ok and click ok now we only have the most fresh levels d1 is the freshest demand zone d2 is the next fresh demand zone S1 is the fresh supply zone and S2 is the fresh supply zone. So it's up to you how many zones you want to see on your screen. These zones are plotted based on the time frame you choose. For example, on this chart, you could see that I'm on a one year, one day time frame, which means each candle represents one day. Typical time frames used for supply and demand analysis are 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours, 4 hours, 1 day, 1 week, and even 1 month or 1 quarter. So you can just change your, your time frame here and um, this will adjust based on your time frames. So weekly, so right now I'm on a weekly time frame, so each, these are the levels in the weekly time frame. When it comes to charting, my personal preference is uh, my personal preference is this just one chart so it's clean. So I can easily see the demand and supply levels and I could switch the time frames easily as well from here. So this is my personal preference. I also have a chart that has four windows. I mean, I have a window that has four charts. And on this chart, I have the same ticker. So for this, I have the E-mini S&P 500 on all of them. I have them linked. And then I have them on different time frames. I have one hour, three hour, four hour, one day. So, so I could... Um, this allows me to see where we are at in the market. So like for example, on this one, on the daily, I could see that there's a supply zone over here, way over here, but uh, that's also it's still a supply zone. So you can do this, you can change this to weekly. It's up to you how you want it configured. Uh, the zones are based off the time frame you choose. course you can use this indicator and other tickers too let's say tesla amazon so it's up to you how you want um how do you want to configure your screen uh, how many zones you want plotted and so on so if you have any questions or for more information Please don't hesitate to contact me or visit our website at sites.google.com slash view slash custom POS or email me at custom POS 14 at gmail.com. Thank you.